Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to open for you. This one comes by way of my buddy Justin, who uh, runs High Grain Design. If you guys don't know High Grain Design, they uh, sell and make very cool inlays for knives. They've done like the Jaeger, they've done the Sparrow Strix, they've done uh, a few very cool knives. And um, they now have their own design. Looks like they taped it to the damn box. I hate that shit. But I will cut this open ruthlessly and get in here. So, <laughs> this is their DeVille model. And they have a pre-order coming. I believe the pre-order is in May, if I am not mistaken. And um, that is coming up. So I'll put the date in the uh, description down below, just so you have it. But this is kind of a first impressions, you know, situation here. All right. So obviously these packages are not the ones for the knife. This is just what they came in. We have the DeVille. We have a couple versions. And I think this knife is super unique and cool. And it's up my alley because you guys know I love a really nice sheep's footy style blade. Ooh, I was hoping I'd get to check out some carbon versions. And well, guess what? We get to check out some carbon versions. So here is the knife, and I gotta say, yeah, it looks good. So this one I can tell already has a belt set, and ooh, that one does too, nice. So these are OEM'd by Best Tech Knives. As you guys know, I worked with Best Tech. Whoa, Damn, I did not expect that. Look at that tip, dude. Or it's not the tip, that's the spine coming down. That looks freaking sick. I don't know why that just caught me and I was like, damn, it just looks kind of goofy. Cause like, you think the tip, it's like, wait, there's no tip. Um, but it dives down. You're gonna see what it looks like. That is slicker than a snicker. Man, you gotta be careful when you say that. <laughs> um. You can see it a little better here. You can see the tip going down. But look at that. I think that's slick, dude. Would be kind of cool if it was flush here with the scale. Is it on this one? Seem no. Yeah, I think it would be sick if it was like this line right here was flush with that blade. Anyway, you have a front flipper. Now, it has one of these flippers with all this jimping here. I never understand that because you can't do anything with it. So it seems... Like, you don't need that jimping, but maybe it's just an aesthetic thing. Um, sorry, guys, I'm doing my first inspection. It's a prototype. Uh, very nice thickness. I like the thickness. It's not thick. <laughs> that sounded stupid, but you get what I'm saying. Very, very good transitions from Best Take. I'm telling you, they are hitting Riot quality at this point with this kind of stuff. Um, very nice on the... Pivot collars. I love this colorway right here. We've got blade tang. Let me just, before I even open it, let me just clean those off in case there's any oil on there. So we don't get any on the uh, lock bar. Man, I really like this look. Look at that clip, dude. That clip is sexy. Internally mounted clip. Oh, yeah, it's nice. You got about that much sticking out, which is nice. I think that's good. I mean, I carried this today, and you got about that much sticking out. It didn't bother me at all, so hey. All right, I guess you guys want me to open this thing. Uh, it does have a bolster lock, which is nice, so left-handed, pam Woo! <laughs> oh, God damn! All right, holy shit. All right, so now you see uh, what I'm talking about with this blade. It is wild, dude. 
Look at that. It's almost like somebody just cut the tip off of this fucker. Like, just boop, dropped it, and it broke off. It's a very aggressive, cleavery blade. Um, I can't compare this to anything. I mean, uh, there was some weirdo uh, in a Facebook group that compared it and said it was like the Strix, which I happen to have right here. I have a custom Strix. Somebody tried to say that they copied the Strix. That person needs help and needs a lot of that help because what the f are you talking about? I mean, look at this. This looks absolutely nothing like this knife. I mean, maybe from there to there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Sorry. Um, but it's in that ballpark of knife, right? It's in that, that Jaeger... I would even consider the our knife, the Devo Stout, in there. Um, you know, you have those knives with those uh, sheep's foot blades, bolster locks. You know, so yeah, the Strix, the Jaeger, the Stout. <clears throat> um, I'm sure there's other ones I just can't think of right now, but um, to me, this fits into that grouping, and I think that that means I love it because that's my style right there right um ergos yeah that feels pretty good right there now i'm left-handed and you do have a lot of grooves here which i like because a lot of times knives are very uh just you know and that's comfortable so you you know you're just you're not taking risks with the ergos but you know this has uh some grooves so you know uh it feels good Feels good like this to me. You have this whole flat here for your pinky if you have big hands. For me, I can just grip it. Now, I would obviously choke up. So for me, I'm going right up here. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. Very comfortable in the hand. Uh, I would love a little patch of jimping up here, but you guys know me. I want that box jimping on everything. Super comfortable. Let's feel this grind. So, I think Best Tech can go thinner than that, dude. Um, this is a hollow grind, I believe. I mean, it feels like it's a hollow. Is it flat? They could go thinner, man. This thing would be sick if it had like a stupid thin hollow. It's possible because of the stock thickness, they can't go thinner. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's a hollow grind, but I'll just do this. Just lay something on it. I'll show you. Oh shit. No, it's a it's a hollow, but yeah, it's it's not very um aggressive. I think they could go deeper on that. Dude, I'm just saying it would be it would be pretty sick if they went deeper on that. Whoa. It's interesting because it's it seems like it has really thick stock. Because this this is actually pretty thin here, relatively speaking. And then it gets thicker here. So they purposely thicken it up in this area, which kind of gives it a wild look. And definitely helps with action. Because uh, you're going to have some weight out there for it to drop. Let's try this front flipper out. Ooh! That's nice. Wow, I'm surprised that it has such a good detent for the flick, yet that low profile-ish front flipper is excellent. Let's try this one out. Ooh, that one's snappy. Yeah, a little stronger on this one, not by much. Very nice. That whole shape is beautiful. I mean, these guys know what, you know, they know what a good knife is. They they have made inlays for a ton of uh, Evos. They've made a, uh, inlays for a ton of really, really nice designs. Um, you know, and I feel like they did a great job uh coming up with their own unique design that like i said earlier this is really unique dude um 
Sure, you could like, you could say there's homage maybe to Jaeger, Evo. That was the one I was trying to think of, Evo, Strix, but not really. I mean, it, it looks totally unique to me. Um, this blade shape is wild. Excellent. Oh, I didn't even notice. It has a fuller. So, can you... <laughs> so, you can flick anywhere. God damn. And that, dude, that still felt crispy. Look how low I am. <laughs> dude, this thing is sick. So, this is the uh, High Grain Designs DeVille. I think I'm going to be pre-ordering one of these. So... These guys are doing their, this is their first knife design, okay? Uh, so they're doing a pre-order, which makes perfect sense. Your first design, you know, you got to get, you got to get rolling somehow, right? And um, so I don't know what the price is, but I know they're trying to be pretty aggressive with it. I think it, it's $350 or less, I'm pretty sure on. Um... I was trying to convince them they should start at like $2.99 in Micarta. They have a Micarta one. Um, I was trying to convince them to go $2.99 in Micarta and then go like, you know, $3.25 or $3.50 for the more premium ones. And, you know, you're talking, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Magna Cut. It's pretty, that's what most people are using. Um, Magna Cut, Dark Matter Gold. Uh, titanium, obviously. So this is a premium build. Let me let me grab a stout. So this is the stout V2. This is a lefty. But you're talking best tech, right? And you have pretty much the same build, right? We we had the two clip design. So this mounts into a wire clip thing. And um, so you have this clip and then it comes with a wire clip. And we have this milling on the bolster and we went with uh, Vanex, super clean, which is more expensive. Um, these were 375 retail. And we were, we were aggressive with that price. Um, I think most other people who would release a knife in this exact build, um, for what we paid for them, this knife would be 400 or more. Pretty goddamn sure. So, you know, if they're around 350 with this, I think that's a, a really reasonable price. I mean, I know it's a lot of money, but that's what, you know, it costs a lot of money to make knives, especially with Best Tech. But what are you paying for, right? You're paying for uh, quality machining, excellent customer service, and um, just, you know, a very fantastic uh, finished product, in my opinion. These transitions are just phenomenal. Yeah, I'm pretty much blown away with these guys. Sorry, I'm like rambling here a little bit. Um, I love it. I love it. It's the DeVille, guys. I love that name, too. Uh, it makes me think of uh, uh, 101 Dalmatians, Corella DeVille. I think this is probably named after a car. But, um, you know, I'm going to go with Disney movie. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, would you pick up one of these? Which one would you pick up if you did? Uh, I know they have these two versions. And then there's a Micarta one as well. Which, again, I believe is like stonewashed or something. So it's going to be more affordable. Man, I think they did such a good job with this front flipper hole combo. And I love the hole shape. It's unique. Um, you know, it's similar to other holes that we've seen. Um, right? We all kind of have our own little geometric shapes when it comes to these holes. Um, but uh, here's another one that we did with the fireball. Um, but yeah, they came up with uh, their own unique shape. And man, it looks good. And then you add the fuller in. I'm really a fan of that. Um, that fuller is beautiful. Yeah, this is a sick knife, guys. So I'm very, very glad that it came out this good. Because, you know, it's always tricky when uh, I have somebody's prototype on the way. Because I never know 
if I'm going to love it or whatever. And, you know, I'm always going to be honest. So I'm always hopeful that it's going to be fantastic. And then I can just rave about it um, versus the opposite, you know. Um, so, yes, this one is fantastic. And uh, I'm going to highly recommend you guys check this pre-order out. And I will link everything I can down below. Um, I may do a follow-up video or at least include it in a rapid review or something. I think I covered a lot here. Um, I do want to pull up the website because I think that will answer some questions possibly. Uh, high grain designs. So they have a very nice website. Like I said, they sell inlays. They have... Um, Inlays for the XOM, the Raptor, the Jaeger. I mean, look at the African goat skin. Like, that's some crazy shit. Um, Evo. Um, yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff. So, um, let's see if they have a page on this. The DeVille. Here it is. So, May 18th is going to be the pre-order. May 18th. It's 7.91 inches long. Ah, it's such a good size, man. 3.15 inch cutting edge. Oh, it's M390. Apologies. So M390. Um, and it looks like we have the gold version that I have here. We have the blue version that we have here. By the way, I don't know if I've ever seen this blue. I don't know what it is. Is it dark matter blue? I've had dark matter blue and it doesn't look like this. It doesn't have that much blue in it. It's, they're just calling it Blue CF. I mean, it's marbled blue. It's cool. They have a side cut carbon fiber and dama steel. Can I click on it? Okay, you can't go into that. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that, dude. Wow. <laughs> so if you want to ball out, that one's 500. And even, dude, 500 is not bad for that. You look at some of these guys' pre-orders, so $365 on the Blue CF. I don't know if these prices are locked in. They have $335 on the Black Micarta. These prices may still change. I have no idea. They have a uh, four interest-free payments with PayPal. So they have, uh, I guess, a PayPal option, which is cool. Um, do they list any? Uh, there's some specs if you want them. 4.6 ounces. I think that's great for the size of this thing. Vertical belt satin. Um, I don't see anything about an expected date or anything like that. But um, I'm sure that will all get updated as we get closer. We're still over a month away from the pre-order. So uh, at least when I'm filming this. Wow. Yeah. All right, 18 minutes of me rambling. Um, yeah, great job, Justin. Thank you for letting me check these out. I think what I'll do is maybe film another video about them. I'll try to ask some questions, get some more info, get the exact pricing, all that stuff. And then I'll, I'll maybe film a short, another short video and I'll post that in May closer to the pre-order. Because um, you guys will probably, you know, have this in the back of your mind by the time that comes up a month from now. Um, so I'll kind of try to remind you and remind myself because I definitely want to grab one of these. So I'm kind of torn, man. I really like the blue, but I like the, I like black bolsters with belt satin. So I'm kind of like a tux guy, if you know what I mean. Um, but I like the blue. I almost want the blue, like blue with blue with blue collars would be sick. Um, but I'll have to figure that out before the, uh, pre-order. I think I'd go with this one as of right now, but, uh, yeah. All right. I love you guys. Thank you to Justin. Check out High Grain Design. Link down below. Um, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And, uh, yeah, another beautiful design is hitting the market. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.